I will lift up mine eyes into the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He leads me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. 
He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. The scripture lesson from the gospel is John 14, 1 through 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go and prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. Ward S. Fleshman Emmett Ursi Dillard Ruth Robinson Glenn Jeanette Lila Moore Greist Hazel Texas Coleman Schlock Joseph Henry Greist Joyce D. Thompson Edith E. Burney Martha Christ Neville Betty Kirkland Crumb Ned Edwin Williamson Anna Lee Walker James V. Keener Thomas H. Tessier Fritz Vincent Jane Page Gillespie Patricia Petty Runyon Timothy Fred Long Larry Dean Mason Charles Penland Ralph Wayne Pritchett Robert William Generet John Wayne Darnell de
Dickerson. Bobby Allen Jenkins. Clinton Breck Wilburn. Tracy Ann Brown Wilson. Neil Browning. Jean Ledford. Elizabeth Alford Paul Edward Watts Martha Moore Dickerson For the gift of these lives we thank Resurrection. 
I would imagine you all are struggling as I have been in this season of COVID-19 um, and seeing what's going on in the world around us. We're going through a hard time as a whole community, as a whole world. Uh, and being able to anchor myself in the story of um, our story as Christians and the story of Scripture really has been a source of inspiration and renewal for me. But so has being a part of this institution and the story that we have here. To know that I am not writing a new story, but entering into a story that already has existed long before me. And that that is a story that uh, is made up of amazing people, some of whom we name today who have passed in this last year. Some of whose names are only known to God, but are still so much a part of the fabric of this place. The fact that I get to be a part of that story, and that it is a story of not only, again, surviving, but thriving, and it's a story of shared passion and love and commitment to the mission of this place. That brings me such strength and hope for who we are as Raven Gap Nakuchi School, who all of you are as a part of our community. And that's an important piece of today, right, for our memorial service together, is remembering the names of people and all of those who have gone before us. Not as a way of thinking, oh, they once were here and now they're gone. Not at all. But because of the promise we have of resurrection and eternal life through Jesus, um, because of that, we know surely they are still a part of this story. That in the wonderful tapestry of Raven Gap Nakuchi School, each and every life that has been a part of this institution and is a part of this institution is a thread that remains in that tapestry. And that we are not whole. We do not create an entire beautiful picture of who we are, our identity and our mission and our commitment to one another. We don't create an image of that without each and every one of those threads. And so what a wonderful chance that we have every year to come together and give thanks for those lives and for the ways that they have helped shape who we are today as Raven Gap Nakuchi School and really helped to set our history, um, this incredible history of this institution that we love so dearly. And I know you love it because you've taken the time to tune in digitally to be a part of this service. And so first, today is a Thanksgiving. It's a thanksgiving for the lives of those whom we remember this day, for their, their contributions, not only to the Christian story, but specifically to the story here at Raven Gap Nakuchi School. It's a prayer of hope uh, that is deeply rooted in resurrection and renewal um, for what we are experiencing now and what we see is the future for us. We know that we can rest easy in that story that we share here at Raven Gap Nakuchi School, that even this challenge we too will face together, and we will not only survive it, but thrive after, because it's who we are. It's a part of our identity committed to our mission so firmly. And finally, it's a prayer of thanksgiving for each and every one of you, for all of our students who work so hard at the end of this semester remotely, for our teachers and staff currently that worked so hard to make that possible, and a thanksgiving for all of the faculty and staff members who have come before that gave us such a wonderful institution to pick up and continue, right, with the mission that we have. Uh, and so my prayers are with each and every one of you today as we go forth. I hope that you are safe, I hope that you are well, and I hope that we can be together again next year. Amen. shall help for me arise from the Lord shall come my name who the heaven and earth hath made he will ever keep thy soul what would harm he will control in the home and by the way he will keep thee day by day he will guide through dangers all will not suffer thee to fall. He who safe his people keeps, slumbers not and never sleeps. He will ever keep thy soul, what a harm he will control. In the home and by the way, he will keep thee day by day. Thy protector is the Lord, Shade for thee he will afford, neither sun nor moon shall smite. God shall guard by day and night, he will ever keep thy 
Let us pray. Most gracious God, indeed on this day we thank you for each and every soul that has gone before us. The ways that they have contributed to this incredible institution that we call home, not only in the time you spend here, but forever in our hearts. May we make ourselves worthy to pick up their mantle and continue to go forth, helping to renew mission of this place, pour our hearts and our passion into it, that we might continue be, to be a light on the hill for the world to look at, and that we indeed will strive to be one community that leads the way, not only for each other, but for everyone who sees who we are and what we do here. And now we ask the blessing of God to be upon us this day. In